This USB drive can install three different versions of macOS. This sounds crazy, right? So let me show it to you first. As you can see, this USB drive can install macOS Sequoia, macOS Sonoma and macOS Ventura. Just select the one you like and your macOS will be ready in no time. Pretty cool, right? In this video, I will walk you through exactly how to create a multi macOS bootable USB drive. There are no specific limits to how many different macOS versions you wish to boot. All you need is a USB drive with enough storage space. So let's jump into the process and set this up step by step. For this video, I will be using macOS Sequoia, Sonoma and Ventura. You can choose any specific version of macOS that you need. So, the first step is to download the desired macOS.pkg file. To do that, just go to my website techrichard.com. In the search bar, type Sequoia PKG and open the first link. Now scroll down below and you will see a list of all the versions. Just click on install assistant.pkg file to download it. Since I am downloading the macOS Sequoia PKG file, I will rename it to Sequoia to avoid any confusion. As I have already downloaded the file, so I will skip this process. So just to inform you, all these PKG files are stored on Apple servers and we do not host any one of them. We are just providing you with the links to Apple official servers. Now, I will download the Ventura PKG file in the same way. Just type Ventura PKG in the search bar and open the first link. Now scroll down below and download the desired install assistant.pkg file. Now rename this as Ventura to avoid any confusion. Now repeat the same process for macOS Sonoma and download the install assistant.pkg file. Again, make sure you rename this to Sonoma to avoid any confusion. Once all the files have been downloaded, move them to your desktop. So here we have all these three files for our bootable USB drive. The next step is to run each of these PKG files. To do that, just double click on the files and click on the install button. Now type in your password and click on install software. Once done, click on the close button. Once installed, open Finder and go to Applications, and you will see the Install macOS Sukua application. Just repeat the process for the other two PKG files. Once all three files have been installed, you will see three different applications that are different from your macOS versions. Now, here is an important thing. The PKG files are only available till macOS Big Sur version. So, if you wish to create a bootable disk for an older version of macOS, you will need the DMG file of that specific macOS. You can find the DMG file link in the video description below. Just download the respective DMG files and double click on it and you will see the exact same install macOS application file that we will need later in the process. You can use this application file to create your bootable macOS. Now, it's time to insert your USB drive and create partitions. To do that, click on Launchpad and search Disk Utility. Now click on your USB drive and erase it. Keep macOS extended as the format of your USB. You can label a name if you like and click on the Erase button. Once the disk is erased, it's time to create a partition. Just click on Partition and here we will create separate partitions for each of the versions of macOS. In my case, I am installing three versions so I will keep three separate partitions. Just click on the plus button to create a separate partition. To avoid confusion, it's best to rename each of the partitions. 
so i will keep it sequoia sonoma and ventura once all the partitions are ready click on the apply button to confirm the partitions so this will take around a while and all three partitions will be ready if you wish to add four macos versions you can create four different partitions and so on so just to make sure each partition has at least 20 gigs of your space once the partitions are created you will see them stored separately just close the disk utility and filed all the partitions with the names you have kept the next step is to open terminal from launchpad Now go to your finder and under applications rocket or your installer apps. Now we will first create the macOS Sequoia bootable USB. Just right click on install macOS Sequoia app and click show package contents. Open the contents folder and now open resources folder. Here scroll down a bit and you will see create install media file. Now in your terminal type sudo space and then drag and drop the create install media file now type hyphen hyphen volume space and then drag and drop your macos sequoia usb partition and press enter now type in your password and enter again on your keyboard type y and press enter so this will now start creating your bootable usb for macos sequoia As mentioned previously, if you don't find the PKG file for a specific version of macOS, you can simply use the DMG file. Once you click on the DMG file, you will find the exact same install macOS application that you can use. Now, in the meantime, you will repeat the same process for our other Mac versions. To do that, click on Shell, New tab, and then click on New tab with Profile. Now, Repeat the same process for macOS Sonoma. Just right click on install macOS Sonoma app and click on show package contents. Open the contents folder, go to resources and locate the create install media file. In your terminal, type sudo space and drag and drop your create install media file. Now type hyphen hyphen volume space and then drag and drop your macOS Sonoma USB partition. Press enter and type in your password and press enter again. On your keyboard type Y and press enter. This will now start creating your bootable USB for macOS Sonoma. Repeat the exact same process for macOS Ventura. The process is exactly the same just follow the on screen instructions and you will be good to go. Once all the three processes have started, you can now sit back and relax. So this will take around a while depending upon the speed of your USB drive. Once again, if there is a specific version of macOS that you wish to add to your multiple macOS installer, there may be a case where you will not find the PKG file. For such macOS versions, you can use the DMG files. I will provide all the DMG file download links in the video description below. If you are stuck somewhere or need any help, just comment down below and I will get back to you. Also, if you fail to find any version of DMG file, you can just comment the name of the macOS version and I will help you with the link in your comment. So, once all the three volumes are ready, you you will see install media now available at followed by your USB volume name. And there you go. One USB drive with multiple macOS installers, which is super handy and incredibly efficient. If this helped you out make sure to like this video subscribe to Tech Richard and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on future tips and tutorials If you are stuck somewhere or if you have any questions drop them in the comment section below and I will get back to you Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one